y'all, it's Jacqueline. Today I have a video dedicated to figuring out what color tone you are. Are you warm? Are you cool? Today, this video is going to answer all of these questions for you. I was really inspired to do this video because lately it's been harder for me to figure out what undertone I am. I had always been a cool toned, dark haired girl growing up. Um, but as I've gotten older and as I've gotten more sun damage, um, my skin tone is much darker, uh, much more freckled, and has a lot more warmth to it. So it's been harder for me to pick out makeup. Foundation number one um, has been more difficult. I've been holding up bottles at the drugstore and just nothing seems to match me. Okay, so there are a couple things you're gonna need. One is a white shirt. You want to wear plain white blank canvas so there's a no colors interfering with what we're about to do. The second thing is you want to pull your hair back from your face. Either wear a white shirt or to make it simple, if you don't have one on hand, you can always use like a tablecloth, a napkin, anything um, to cover your shoulders, to cover everything up, and give you a basic white canvas to work from. Also, at the end of this video, I have a surprise color that looks good on every skin tone, every ethnicity, every race. Hands down, it's so neutral, it will go with every single woman watching this video, I guarantee. I can't wait to show you how beautiful it is. Okay, so the first step is figuring out whether you're warm or cool. So you are gonna need some fabric swatches. We're gonna take these four basic colors and hold them up to our necks around our face one by one. So first we're gonna start with the white. And white is a very universal color, so it doesn't tell all, um, but you will see in a minute which one you look better in. So we're gonna hold the white up. Everything looks fine. It essentially looks just like what I have on wearing today. You'll really tell a difference when you hold up the second piece, which is the wheat. And you can see nearly instantly my imperfections on my cheeks are a lot more noticeable. It um, sallows me out. It just makes my skin ruddy and it does not not look as good as the pure white did. You'll notice an even bigger difference when you go with fuchsia. Versus orange. See how orange and ruddy it makes my skin look? Versus the fuchsia which really brightens my skin, makes my cheeks look rosy and, and alive. So that means you're cool. If you worked well with the pure white and the fuchsia like I did, that means you are a cool toned girl. If you worked best with the wheat color and the orange color, that means you are a warm. I have some color samples here just to show you guys. So these are cool toned colors. If you were a cool, these are going to be the best colors for you. A lot of them are very bold and um, very rich, very uh, primary colors, you know, big reds, big blues, browns, blacks, whites, things like that. So very bright, deep colors. If you're a warm, you can wear more muted, warmer toned, brassier, brighter colors. You can get away with the yellows and the rich browns and the pretty, pretty corals and the warm, warm pinks and creams. Okay, so I hope this helped you guys find a little bit of help when swatching colors and trying to figure out what your major tones are. And I found a beautiful burgundy color that I'm going to be buying more of. I adore this. So if you have any questions or need any help at all, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to reach out, try to get your information and help you figure out what color tone you look best in. And as I promised, the one color that looks good on every skin tone, every single ethnicity in the world is, you ready, drum roll, pink. I know, isn't that awesome? A true pink, a true baby pink looks great on every single woman. So if you are totally lost after this video, you can't figure out whether you are warm or a cool, just buy pink. Alrighty guys, so I hope that helped you figure out which color family you're in. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, stick around for more videos where I won't be sounding like a leper in my throat. <laughs> Hopefully this will clear up soon. 
And if you'd like to follow me elsewhere, I am at Fort Worth Famous on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Thank you guys so, so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Remember that you are already famous in your hometown. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. Bye.